no las cuento porque todos los días amanece una muerta. Bro. Dos, tres. seeing more extreme weather because we have more heat trapping gases in the air. So what that does is climate change affects the extremes. Um, you see more droughts, you see more downpours, and less of the middle. In California, we have seen a five-fold increase in wildfires since the 80s, and that has been connected to climate change. We are closer to a irreversible disaster, uh, a collapse of between 60 up to 70 percent of the whole Amazon forest than we thought a few years ago. Many studies indicated that deforestation plus global warming acting together might drive the forest to disappearance. The length of the dry season is becoming longer. In the forest areas, this dry season is even longer. The forest in those areas is removing less carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And the, during the dry season, the temperature in that area is three degrees warmer than 50 years ago. Part of that warming is global warming, but part is not. It's because the forest is losing its capacity to recycle water. Os anos para cá era um pouco. Agora deu um volume a maior. Né, que teve esse Amazônia que queimou em todas. Isso aí é o um maior de todas que aconteceu. E a fumaça estão vindo para cá, você entendeu? Hoje, vocês estão vendo, a crime está aberto. Foi antes de ontem, aqui estava assim, ó, só cheio de fumaça e caloria. Antigamente nunca aconteceu nessa parte, mas hoje está com essa dificuldade por causa desse problema. The Amazon may be 15 to 30 years before irreversibly becoming a dry savanna, this large portion of the southern Amazon. This is the Helheim Glacier uh, off 
far off to my right. In front the Melange is the Helheim Fjord and this glacier has retreated uh, more than 10 kilometers or so in the last decade or so uh, from that position far off onto my left to where you see it today. So that's where the ice is grounded on the seafloor down about 800 meters. The two biggest climate stories of 2019 are Greta Thunberg and Donald Trump, and then they're on opposite ends. Donald Trump, who still denies that climate change is real and has pulled the United States out of the Paris Agreement. You got fires eating away at California every year because management is so bad. The governor doesn't know. He's like a child. He doesn't know what he's doing. Greta Thunberg has been part of a global movement by young people. She is not the only one. She is just the visible symbol and things have coalesced around her and her Friday strikes. In just a year and a half, it went from her outside the, you know, the parliament there to a global thing where you know, millions of people are, are stopping work and school on Fridays. Teenagers of today are putting the fingers in in the in the heads of uh, of uh, the, the, the our generation, the adults, uh, saying you are not doing what you should do. You are really harming my future. You are putting my future in risk. And then these children also they see their future closely linked to the sustainability of the planet. We are facing a global crisis, and if we don't do anything soon, then uh, it might be too late to, to undo the irreversible climate breakdown. And uh, we need to stand together, uh, no matter where you are from or who you are. So please try to understand what is happening, and we need to hold the older generations accountable and do whatever we can to show that we have had enough.